Hey, my name is Isil Khan and in this episode, we'll plot the same boundary over here in AutoCAD. Actually, these measurements were made by me over yonder on site and what if I want to plot this property over here in AutoCAD? So how can I do this? For this time, let me just import the same property picture. Uh, let's say, wait a minute, let's say I'm gonna import this over here like this one. And then I'm going to do little unit setup. Let's say for example UN and the command bar I can type. And let's say the length type is going to be architectural. And then the precision is going to be 1 over 8 inches. And let's say the insertion scale is going to be in inches. And the other things are OK by default. And when I'm done, I'll click OK over here. The next step is to choose a baseline. For this time, let's say my baseline is going to be line AB, in which I'm going to draw first, and for which, of course, I can type L in the command bar. Let's say I'll specify the first point. Let's say over here, this point. And then I'm going to provide length to the line, let's say 73 feet and 6 inches. I'll press space and then space to end the command. And then I'm going to type C in the command bar and let's say I'll specify point B as the center of the circle. And for this time, let's say 34 feet and 10 inches is going to be the radius of the circle. Then I'll specify point A as the center of the circle and let's say the radius of the circle is going to be 81 feet and let's say 4 inches. Now as you can see, these both circles intersect each other over here. So I'll join point B with the intersection point just like in this palm. It's okay. Now I'll erase these circles because I don't need them anymore, right? And now I'll specify uh, the point C as the center of the circle. And let's say the radius of the circle is going to be 22 feet and 2 inches. Now I'm going to specify point A as the center of the circle. And let's say the radius of the circle is going to be, uh, let's say, 92 feet. This one is just 92 feet, right? Now, as you can see, I'll just uh, join the point C with the intersection point, just like in this palm. That's okay. Now, I'll erase these circles. And then again, I'm going to specify point D as the uh, center of the circle. And let's say the radius is going to be uh, 28 feet. It's okay. Now I'll specify point A as the center of the circle and I'll provide uh, 67 feet and 2 inches as the radius of the circle. Now I'll join point D with the intersection point of these two circles just like in this palm as I'm doing. I'll erase these both circles. Now I'll specify point E as the center of the circle and let's say the radius is going to be 28 feet and 10 inches and then I'll specify point A as the center of the circle and let's say the radius is going to be 39 feet. That's okay. As you can see there is an intersection so I'll join point A with the intersection and then I'll go ahead to join this line with the point E and this is my boundary actually right which is so easy method right and we did it by using the circle method which is actually the compass method if you do it manually. Now you can do little, uh, uh, let's say the dimension work over here. Let me do it little quickly because I don't want to waste much time. And I'll do the uh, dimension setup a little bit over here. Let's say the text is going to be 12 inches and the primary units is going to be the architecture. And again, the precision is 1 over 8 inches. And let's say another thing, the line is going to be red and the extension line is going to be green. Let's say 6 inches and this one is going to be 12 inches. And it's okay. Yep, it's okay. Again, a line. This one. This one. And this one. Yep. That's pretty nice. which is completely okay, right? If you see it, and if you uh, make it little boundary by typing view O in the command bar, let's say I'll make it boundary. So this is a boundary. 
and by typing a in the command bar for the in area and let's say o for an object and i'll click just this object as you can see the area of this boundary is 2779 square feet you can copy it and paste it where you want it's so simple right this one so this is how we can flood any boundary or any measurements over here in autocad thank you dears for watching see you next time